guys, welcome to today's video. For this video, I will be trying different foods from like different places I've never tried. I filmed this intro like five times. I don't know why intros are so hard or awkward. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, so I'm excited. Hope you are too. Let's go. Also, I just want to jump in here and add that this is going to be like over the course of many days. This is not like one sit down video. Okay, so the first thing I'll be trying is this dill pickle hummus I got from Trader Joe's. So what it looks like on the bottom. I figured I'd try this first because it's just like a snack and I don't have to have like a whole meal. Oh. And when I saw, oh. That's so loud. Really nice swirl so far. Looking great. I'm just going to open it a little bit. I do want to try the swirl though, so I'm just going to... So, uh, and then I'm going to try with these Tostitos multi-grain scoops, which I've already had before. But they're really good actually, before being multi-grain. Oh, I love going right in the middle. Wait, that is pretty good. I'm going to try with just the uh, hummus. But I was like, wait, this looks just like normal hummus, but there is a really small hint of dill pickle. Wow, that's stronger now. I'm trying it by itself. It's way strong. This one's good. Oh, my thumb does this weird thing. See, it goes like that. Starting off this video strong. I would rate it like solid 8.5 out of 10. It's good, but not that good. Like, I probably won't be getting this again. I tried it with carrots too, but it's not as good as I thought. It's still good though. Okay, bye for this segment and see you in the next one. Hi, it's two days later and so I will be trying these hemp hearts granola. I'm pretty sure I've had this before from the smoothie place I always go to. It's really good and I thought they made their own granola, but I'm pretty sure it's just this. So maybe I've tried this before. This is what it looks like. Definitely looks familiar. Make more clusters because this is the only one I see. And I like the big one. Anyways, I'm gonna be making cereal. Wait, let's see if I can make a better angle. Okay, first bite. Amazing. I'm pretty sure this is like exactly what smoothie bowl place uses. Only unfortunate thing though is all the big clumps like break down to smaller clumps. But that's not how they want my smoothie bowl place up. Like they're stays into big clumps. Or maybe that's just because it's cereal, like breaking down milk. Ten off ten. This is literally my favorite granola and I really want to make it at home, but the ingredients don't look very home friendly like i don't know where i'm supposed to get oat syrup solids okay it's like now 125 and i'm gonna try the brave robot ice cream i got from sprouts i got vanilla and pb and fudge they had no regular chocolate so these are both vanilla bases these are special because apparently they're animal free vegan lactose free and they're made with non-animal whey protein I don't know so, oh that's cool look at that it's like textures right now we're watching the Olympics they're in a swimming event right now that's what it looks like it's there's more vanilla bean I thought vanilla bean is really good though I like the vanilla bean pieces it, it's good Eight, like eight and a half out of ten, but there's this weird like cream consistency. Like it's very creamy, but I'm not sure I like that. This is the peanut butter fudge. Ooh, it looks like chocolate. Look, it's not that soft, so if I didn't know it was not ice cream, I would not know. I just had a huge ball of peanut butter, but then it's literally vanilla underneath. So only the top is like that? That's weird. 9 out of 10. But these are not worth the price. I got these two for 7 something, but by themselves they were like 6 .99. This is better. It's Maybe the chocolate's way better. The peanut butter in this is really good though. 
and it doesn't taste exactly like ice cream. Mm -hmm. It's this weird thing. I don't. I don't know what. It, it doesn't take too long to soften though, so that's good. That's a plus. It is 6:20 in the same day, but I really want to try these partake chocolate chip cookies from Trader Joe's, which will satisfy me. Apparently, they're like all these allergen-free cookies. Me and my mom are gonna try them. That's what they look like. Cheers. They're not that good. I give them like a six and a half or seven out of 10. What like about it? Taste, the texture, we're just all wrong. Since I know they are allergen-free, all this stuff, I guess I give it a seven out of ten. No. I don't think they're that bad. How much do you rate it? Eight. That concludes today. I'm not trying any more new stuff today. See you tomorrow. Actually, mm, hello. I tried a chocolate chip by itself. That was so good. It was like so s soft and melts in my mouth. Seven out of ten because I still can't taste the chocolate chips that much. I'm sorry. Hello guys, it's the next day and right now I'm making tofu scramble. It's just tofu, roasted vegetables, uh, my life fake mozzarella, nutrition yeast, cayenne, yeah, salt and pepper sometimes, like, but the vegetables already have it. But today I will be trying Trader Joe's tahini. I've never tried tahini before, but I think I'll like it. Because I do like hummus, so I'm just gonna try and put it in my tofu scramble, but I wanna try it by itself first. It looks like peanut butter. Let me just. Oh my goodness. So maybe there's a reason people don't try it by itself. That is so bitter. Maybe I need to stir it more. Okay, but that was like a 2 out of 10. Oh my gosh. Now the taste is in my mouth. I put some tahini with the tofu scramble. So hopefully it tastes better. I don't know how I like it in hummus. Maybe the chickpeas like balance it out or something. It tastes a little bit better with stuff. So maybe I can upgrade it to a 4 out of 10. Why is this so bad? I had like high hopes that I would like it. Update, I tried to make a dressing out of it. And maybe I didn't put enough lemon juice, but it still tasted nasty. I mean, it was like okay, but I could still like imagine the bitterness. So maybe I only like with only like it with hummus. I don't know. It is now 1:40 something, so I will be trying these hold the cone ice cream cones chocolate from Trader Joe's. I hear about these all the time, and they're so amazing. Everyone raves about them. I sound very sarcastic, but like, what could be so great about these? Tiny cones. I mean, I really like these cones. I do. The like drumstick kind with the nuts. Those are really good. So maybe this will be really good because it's like the same but plainer. Oh, why well, don't give you many? Cheerio. And yes, I bite my ice cream, but it's very hard. I didn't expect it to be that hard. They're very good though. It's nice because it's like the end of the cone of like those drumstick cones. Is that even what it's called? But yeah, it's like the end, which is really nice, and I like the end the best. The wafer's not as good as I thought. Do these live up to the hype? I would say yes, but not really because it's just a plain. Let's go with what you would expect. I give this. A 9.5 out of 10 just because it's hyped up too much update it melts pretty fast and I move this back down to a 9 because the wafer is not that good I'm having another one so update it's so much better if you let it sit and rest because the chocolate gets all melty and the inside so soft and so you don't have to bite the ice cream so it's the day before the last day of July, I think. So I'm going to try the Trader Joe's wrapper, tortilla wrap. Good. It tastes like any other tortilla wrap, like whole wheat. There's a smidge better. 
so I give it a 7.5. That first came to my mind, but kind of, it's kind of low.